All right, welcome to our inventor series on the caster project. Now our next step is to take our parts and to put them into an IDW or a drawing file. So we're going to start with a standard IDW and we'll open it up and we'll wait for a second for it to load. The browser right now begins with a single sheet. In our case it's going to open up to a C size sheet. We're actually going to edit the sheet because we want a B size for what we're dealing with here. Now if you have a template you can load it up too, but for right now we're just going to simply edit the sheet and change it to a B size so it's generic. Now I'm just going to open that up. It's changed it. It's got my name plugged in as the drawn by. I can tweak that in a little bit if I want. It tells me the sheet size and all the other information I need. If I want to go in and edit this stuff, I can go into the I properties and change some of that here. Um, like author's name, let's put it in. It should all be caps. This is standard. Uh, subject should be, um, we're just going to put in ing 1010 for right now. Or in my case, this would be tech 2. Technical design 2. Manager company, I put in my school here. And any categories, keywords, project, location, all that. Um, revision number, I always make sure that starts as a zero so we update it as we go. Designer, I need to update that again. And anything else we need, apply those things and go close. Now that that's updated, we'll put in our first part. We start with a base view. Now, our first sheet, I want an isometric view of our part. But looking at it, I know what one problem we're going to run into right now with our caster assembly, it's laying on its back the way we assembled it. So what I have to do is kind of cheat this. So I'm going to drop it in, and I'm just going to put it in like mm, so. And then I'm going to drag it out here. Well, I can't get the view I want. So let's cancel this. Let's show you how we're going to borrow this. So instead of doing it that way, I'm simply going to go into my assembly, and I'm going to go open that up, but I'm going to change my view to the back view, or whichever view I get. In this case, it's the bottom view that I want my view of. So I hit OK here. Now, if I go like this now, I've then created an isometric view of the same part. I'm going to delete my original. Yes, I'm going to delete view 1 and use view 2. I'm going to move it just down here into the middle. That way it shows up as a true isometric and it looks like what we want to see. Now, following that, I can simply go in here and tell it to create another drawing. So, um, just go to my caster assembly and tell you new sheet. It's going to save the same size sheet, just update the date. Now I can go in and start in putting in my individual parts. When I do this, I usually start at a fixed point, but I want the more detailed parts first. So in this case, I'm going to start with the wheel and work my way back up the parts because I drew them in a different order. So I'm going to start with the wheel. Drop the wheel off, and because it is a cylindrical object, I'm simply going to go to my right side view and drop it into the drawing. Now, I don't want any other views of this because I'm going to make a sectional view through this. So right now I'm done. So I'm going to simply move this into a central location on the screen and I'm going to go to my sectional view. Pick the part I want, line up dead center to dead center and continue. Show it the way I want to view it which is this direction over here to my right side. There we go. Now, problem with my arrows, they're in the part. So I need to stretch them up and make sure they stay straight. So I'm going to click on my divider here and I want it to go straight up and straight down. There. Haven't messed my part up at all. I've got a nice sectional view through it so I can dimension out the details I can see that I can't see here. We're good to go. Um, that's all we got to do to create the part. So I'm going to move on to the next piece. Okay, and do another sheet. And this is all we have to do to create a sheet each time. So my sh third sheet, base view, what it's going to be, well, let's see, my next more, most important piece is the support. Now, when I bring it in, probably the best view of it is that for the front view. Um, if it's not, it could be the rear of it. So if I go to the rear of it, the back, I get that. But I don't see as much information, so yeah, I want to go to the front view that I've already got. Click on that drop off a side view of it, a top view of it, and definitely an isometric in this case. Create. Once I've got those placed, I can then kind of tweak my view around, get things lined up, all's good, we're okay to go. Now, one thing I haven't done is I have not messed with the scale, I've been taking the default scale. 
We're going to show you that on the next piece because if I remember right, okay, new sheet. Let's go to this sheet and go to base view. The next piece I'm going to drop in is the plate. Well, the plate, pretty generic. So we're going to drop him off normal just like we did on the last one. All right. No view change, no scale change, none of that information. Okay, so we're just going to close up that one. Last one, new sheet. This one we will definitely want to change the scaling on. Here's why. The bushing, when we drop it off, is pretty little. It's one to one right there, and on a B size sheet, it's only about an inch and a half across, an inch and three eighths actually. So we're going to up the scale. In this case, I'm going to up it to a one to three, probably a one to two would be most appropriate. So I go to a one to two scale, bring it in, drop it off right there, and if I want to, I can put the front view right there. Now that's all I really need to create for this. Again, um, not a lot of information I have to worry about with it. Um, the only other thing I need to do is I ought, probably ought to have a sectional view on this one as well, so I'm going to line up my sectional view right here, drag it straight through the piece, look again at it this way, and over here to my right again, click there, I've got a functional view. Now I might want to do a projected view off of this, so I've got an isometric of it, and then move my isometric down so it fits on my screen a little better. Etc. I notice I haven't done any dimensions yet. We're just setting up views so that we can come back in and apply the dimensions in a bit. That's it. That's as simple as it is. We've created isometrics and orthographic views and sectional views by simply using a couple of tools. We're going to do the last two parts. Or actually, I think we only have one left. Let's see. Our last bit here is, if I remember right, it should be our axle. And again, it's kind of small, so we're using it at a 1 to 2 scale. First, I'm going to drop it off right there and do a projected view there and bring an isometric up there and go create. And that's really all we need. We'll do dimensions in a little bit. Thank you.